Hi crafters, it's Karen and I have some cards to share and also a couple of altered glassine bags, those little Michaels glassine bags. So I wanted to share those real, real quick. Um, I used the Vintage Amour stack to alter the glassine bags. And if you're looking for this paper stack, it's by the Paper Studio at Hobby Lobby. It is not with the paper, it is in the Valentine's Day aisle, you know, where they have all the crafty stuff for Valentine's Day. That's where they're keeping this. So um, it's a really sweet paper collection. Very vintage, very shabby. I love that. And then um, for a couple of the cards, I used the Recollections Valentine uh, paper. We've all seen that. And for one of the cards, I used my Crate Paper Love Notes um, six by six stack. This one's a very sweet uh, paper collection. And for one of the cards, I used my CC Designs uh, Bell stamp from the Fairy Tales collection. She's just so sweet. She's one of my favorite images. So this is the card I created using her. Actually, this is a um, Recollections craft envelope that I altered and I used the crepe paper on this one and I just layered um, some paper from the collection down here you, um, I added this little dangled heart trim that I got from Gisela over at Lavish Laces and I used some of this tinsel trim and I fashioned a bow using this trim from Hobby Lobby and the flowers are from I Am Roses. They're very sweet. Um, and I just added some stickles. I, I love the cottage roses. And then for the image, I colored her using my Tim Holtz Distress Markers. I went over her little bow with stickles. I think she came out really sweet. Well, I, I need to work on the um, skin, but, but anyway. Um, the heart is one of the recollections uh, doilies, doily hearts that they have out. Um, and then I had a scrap of this pink lace from Suha Fuha, so I just adhered it underneath my banner like that for an extra feminine touch and some halfback heart pearls that I had in my stash. So in the back, I used my Martha Stewart, um, um, you know, punch to create that effect. So that's one. And then the next card, I used this red card base, and I believe it's Recollections cardstock. I'm not, it's either Recollections or Basil. Anyway, um, I used the 12 by 12 paper of the Valentine's Day paper at, at um, Michael's from Recollections, and I just layered uh, the paper with the square doily that I found on eBay and I cut out this piece from the paper collection. I put stickles on the little free space, the little heart there. I fashioned a bow with this uh, cute pink ribbon and added a little heart felty. The flowers are all recollections. I distressed this white one using my um, red distress ink and added stickles to the flowers, really cute. And then for the inside, um, I used the same sentiment stamp and I layered these trims from Hobby Lobby so that the lace would show, you know, when it was closed. I thought that was really sweet. So that's another one. This one is also on red cardstock. And I used the Recollections Valentine's Day paper on this and I just did some layering. This this heart is punched from just some random red patterned paper that I had. It's not from the collection, but I thought it worked. Um, the bottom here, these are trims from Hobby Lobby and a little white rose for my stash. I fashioned a bow and then I added the white rose and I added stickles to it. The, uh, for the banner, I used my a banner punch from the paper studio and um, my glittered foam thickers and for the middle where it says I it says I heart you and for the middle for the heart I used one of the paper studio gems I, I believe they're from the paper studio anyway it's a zebra print and I thought that was a really sweet touch 
Um, and I outlined the middle banner with the stickles. Really cute. And then the inside is simply this. I, I messed up on my sentiment. But <laughs> but it's made with love. <laughs> so that's um, those are my cards. And these are my glassine envelope or bags. The first one, um, I used the Vintage and More paper stack. And for the Heart with Wings here, this is some of the Tim Holtz um, paper, his uh, shabby collection. This is an image I found online. And I raised it on Pop Dots and just added some cheesecloth underneath for a wispy, I guess a wispy look. And then I just layered some laces from my stash, some some of this um, red and off-white and white. I just thought it, it looked sweet. And then um, dangled some pink pearls and a heart felty. So there's that one. And then this one, um, I used the paper, vintage and more paper on this one as well. And I used this, the Tim Holtz Sizzix die, I believe it's called the Ornate Frame. I cut it in chipboard. And then I used my Heidi Swap Color Shine Spray in blush. And it's the perfect color for this particular paper. I mean, it just worked really well. So rather than painting it, I just sprayed the whole thing with, with that spray. And then I used my Creatology Glitter. It looks like this. And I picked this up at Michael's. And I went over the frame with my Scott's Quick Dry um, glue, and then I sprinkled my glitter, and I thought it came out really sweet. I can't tell if it's showing up, but the glitter just really pops. Um, the cherub in the center is from Kane Company, and I raised him on Pop Dots, and then a little Recollections flower and a half back heart and a little bow for my stash. And I layered the lace and the iridescent pearls on the bottom. So those are my quick shares today. Um, thanks so much for watching, and I'm sure I'll talk to you all soon. Bye-bye.